Good morning and welcome to Waking Up with Don. I have some special guests here. It's going to be Valentine's Day very soon and I've got a couple fellas here who can help you guys out if you happen to be watching. Or ladies, tell your friends, call these guys, they do a singing Valentine. We have two members of the, now what's the name of your group now, is the Gulf Tones Men's Barbershop Harmony, Harmony Chorus. Chorus. That's yes, a but the Gulf Tones, that sounds pretty Gulf cool. Gulf Tones Barbershop yeah. Harmony Chorus, Panama City. Okay, and you're a Sky Cunniff? Yes. And I've got uh, Matt Albritton here. Correct. Matt and Sky. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool names. Both military veterans, retirees. Both yes. retired. I'm retired Army, Matt. And I'm retired Marine. Retired Marine. Hua. And uh, I'm retired Air Force. We never say Hua, but I figure I'd throw it in and make <laughs> you feel at home. Uh, Wonderful. <laughs> how'd you get into the, the, this quartet business? I, you just through a club? Uh, or? Uh, Don, we're uh, all members of the Barbershop Harmony Society and members of the Panama City chapter of the Barbershop Harmony Society. I've been singing Barbershop Harmony since 1972. Matt, how long have you been in? Just since 1997. I'm a relatively new guy. Okay, so you're the new kid. Yeah. <laughs> All right. we've, and we've got a wonderful Barbershop Harmony chapter here for men. We have 20 men in the chapter now. Mm -hmm. uh, we're growing. Uh, uh, we're here to perpetuate the, the f American form of music called Barbershop Harmony, four-part a cappella, men's singing. Wow, and that is real Americana, I guess. It is, I mean, it's an original American art form, Barbershop Harmony, started back in 1938. And you gentlemen are keeping that alive. That's, we're keeping the tradition alive, yes. And I didn't even know there was a society <clears throat> of, of barbershop quartet uh, guys. The society yeah. is 28,000 members strong, some wow. over 700 chapters across the country, and we have affiliates in 11 uh, countries around the world. I, you probably get this question, like, how many in a quartet? You know, how, how many, many in a quartet? Your... <laughs> more than three. And more, <laughs> but less than five. <laughs> <laughs> less than five. <laughs> now, if somebody yeah. wants to hear you, uh, yeah. how do we do that? How do we get in yeah. touch with you? Well, anytime we go, we go out a, a lot uh, singing for uh, dinner engagements, uh, birthday parties. Um, all they have to do is look at uh, www.gulftoneschorus.com. They can find information there. Or on our upcoming event of singing Valentine's, they'll call 249-0589, and either I or my wife will answer the phone to take an order for a singing Valentine. Okay, so gulftoneschorus.com or call that number and you can get a singing Valentine singing. From, from, like, yeah. no kidding certified barbershop quartet. Yes, and let's talk, should we talk about that program a little bit? Uh, we are out again this year, this is our third year in a row, delivering singing Valentine's. Uh, we will come to your home or place of business on the 11th, 12th, 13th, or Friday the 14th, fellas, is Valentine's Day. Get ready. Mm -hmm. We're going to deliver two songs, a rose, a card, and we'll take a digital photo and send it back to your home for you. And all of that is $35. Wow. And that's a great Valentine's it's, gift. It, it is. It's easy for the men to call, call us uh, and make that order, and you're done with your ordering for Valentine's Day. And I want to assure you that 100% of all the funds that we collect is done by volunteer, uh, volunteer singers, and it all goes in our program for education of men to teach men how to sing. Well, Sky, Matt, we, we have to run to a break now, but maybe on the other side of these messages, you can sing us a song. Wonderful. We'd, We'd like, like to, to deliver a valentine. Call 249-0589 <laughs> and get the valentine. All right. We'll be right back uh, after your local weather from westpitmanlawfirm.com, westpitmanlawfirm.com. And welcome back to Waking Up with Don. We are the Gulf Tones. <laughs> that was great. Thanks, Matt. Was, I couldn't have done it better myself, actually. I, I really couldn't because you have a better voice than I do. <laughs> so you are the Gulf Tones. We've got Sky, we've got Matt, we've got Garrett and Jack on the end there. And uh, you guys uh, uh, will do this on Valentine's Day, right? On Valentine's and Day or a few days before. So if you were to knock on my door and, yes. and sing a song to my wife, Karen, yes. what would that look like? Karen, good afternoon. Don asks us to come and sing a Valentine for you today. Mm. Let me call you sweetheart. Oh. 
glowing in your eyes so true. Let me call you sweetheart, I'm in love with you, with you. Well, that, that was great, guys. And uh, happy <laughs> Valentine's Day, Karen. Um, <laughs> Yeah, getting out cheap this year, honey. Um, <laughs> what, what, uh, what are you going to sing next? Another wonderful love song, Heart of My Heart, I Love You. Uh, let's, let's take it away. This is for you, Karen. Mm -hmm. Heart of my heart, I love you. Life would be naught without to be here in the Max Out Studios bringing you your Max Biz Tip for the Week. Wow, we're super excited because this is the beginning of our week and I would like to share with you our theme for the week. Our theme for the week is five key leadership qualities that every business owner should have. Five key leadership traits, qualities, talents that every business owner, that's you and I, my friend, that we should have. And today's topic is visionary. Visionary. Good leaders create vision. They see where they want to go before they even get there. And you know, someone that exemplifies this, this great, amazing gift, this great quality to me is Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, the late Steve Jobs, unfortunately, but he was um, an amazing visionary. You all know the story. He started out in the basement of his home at his parents' house, right? But he didn't end there. Data shows that by the time that he, you know, he passed away, seven billion dollars worth. That was his net worth. You see, I'm here to tell you it's not where you're beginning, but it's where you're going to end up, my friend. It doesn't matter what you actually, how you're starting your company right now or, or where you are right now in your business, your results that you're getting. You, if you have vision, you can create in an amazing enterprise for your company, okay? I'm Zenobia Andrews, your business system strategist, and I am here to support you. You can find me at www.zenobiaandrews.com. Continue to press towards the max.
But there's nowhere to go on a day without a show So I beam up home and find some time to drop a line To my friends as I'm reminded of the reasons why we went on the road Dear friends, we're doing great. The road's been fair, but as of late, I can feel it in my bones. Our patience is running thin. We sweat our passions to our skin. Our pilgrimage is near its end. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. I'm coming home I'm coming home But not for long Welcome back to Waking Up with Don, and I have a great celebrity interview for you today. I have Doug Gilliland, who I have seen in several plays, <laughs> and Janet Knuckles, who I've also seen at the Kaleidoscope Theater, and both you guys now are performing at the Martin Theater. Or yes, will be. Or yes, will be, be performing at the Martin Absolutely. Theater in Sweeney Todd. Sweeney yes, Todd. Sir. When's that open up? March the 21st. March the 21st. Friday night. All right. So now 7.30. We... <laughs> what, what, what? Tickets on sale now. <laughs> I know, really. Yeah. <laughs> Go buy them now, you know. I said nothing like a little shameless self-promotion on the show. I'm, I'm all about that acting. H how do you guys get into this? I mean, how does somebody become an actor? I started at five years old, singing okay. in a church choir. Mm -hmm. And okay. then it just grew from there. Okay. As, a, as, a, um, as a child, I was very fond of memorizing mm -hmm. things. So it, it was um, something that I kind of knew at an early age that... Yeah. How about you, Doug? Did you do the same thing? Uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, so, yeah. you know, my, uh, I'm from a very large family, and okay. a too. majority of them sing, and so yeah. I grew up around it. Um, uh, that's what, that was my entrance uh, into mm -hmm. it, is the, the singing. And then it just led to a uh, performance. Someone said to me one day in high school, hey, you want to be in Little Abner, the musical? Right. So I said, mm -hmm. uh, sure. So I'd love it. It kind of starts in school. Now, yeah, yes, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. School and I, I church. Was, I was church. actually in sure, South yes. Pacific and Guys and Dolls. Uh, and hey, we'll yeah. see. <laughs> yeah, like, Gangster number two, you know. Love but, it. Uh, <laughs> love yeah. it. Nathan Detroit, I know the whole deal. Yeah, you but, uh, <laughs> but, you know, seriously, acting is, is kind of a passion. It's really not a, it can be a vocation, mm -hmm. but I look at it like professional sports. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, like getting into the NFL. Sure. I mean, it's tough. It's a real pyramid. I mean, absolutely. so to make a living at it, it is... I don't know. It, it's tough. So you guys really do it more it, for the fun and the passion. Absolutely. Of it all, right. Uh, certainly. We certainly. kept our day jobs. You know. One, yeah. yeah. You can't give <laughs> yeah. up the day job for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, you know, the great thing about it is that if you if you're passionate about it, mm -hmm. there is nothing like it in the entire world. Oh, um, absolutely. One, once you get it's, bitten by the bug, yeah. um, it's your it's your reason it's, for getting up in the morning. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So you have you have quote unquote day jobs, right? For sure. And then you've got this, this, this passion that you have for, for acting, and is it is a substantial time commitment to Absolutely. do this? Absolutely. I mean, if someone's watching at home, and I think every kid who watches TV or goes to the movie says, I'd like to be an actor someday. That'd yes. be a cool job to have. If you want to do it well, mm -hmm. it's like it's with anything, you've got Absolutely. to put in the time. Well, yeah. and the commitment. Is, you know, it's a, if you want to do it well. Yeah, you know, and what you're doing, you know, they call them plays. So you know, you're supposed to play. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed exactly, to have yeah. fun. But um, it's always work. It, yeah. It's always the about the work. The memorization, and right. to be able to know your lines and come across natural on stage, mm -hmm. it, it, it takes a lot of time and hours. I actually have a degree in theater. Oh, you do. Uh, I think you okay. do as yeah. well, yeah. don't oh. you? Yes. So you guys are kind of experts. We are. I guess. Well, we are yeah. professionals. Yeah. We have both performed <laughs> professionally. I just Definitely. chose to have a husband and two children <laughs> instead of instead of the crazy. Instead of the fame and the money and the celebrity, <laughs> what was I thinking? I know, I know. They offered me the Today Show. I decided to <laughs> do this instead. So. And, and why wouldn't you? <laughs> but I have been married for 30 years, and I have two oh, beautiful, well-adjusted children. On that. 29 years for me. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. 
And I was just, you know, my father just turned 88 years old, and he said to me, hey, you know, 60 years, married to the wrong damn woman. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Um, <laughs> so the whole acting thing is, is just something you do because you love it. And, Absolutely. And, and you can actually see that. When I saw you guys, uh, I think I saw you in 9 to 5. Yes. I saw you in the boys next door yeah. over at, I don't mean to point that at you, it's not loaded. That's okay. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, it just looked like sheer joy up there. Well, if it isn't, if you're not enjoying it, then yeah. you shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. <laughs> because the audience at, will translate to the audience. Is, is there, I kind of have a theory uh, about people who go into different professions, you know, like lawyers are geeks with egos. Oh, no, did I say that out loud? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and, uh, and you know, policemen are guys that are kind of getting even and you know, things like Are actors acting out, I mean, is, is there a certain type? Hmm. I, you know, I, I think that's pretty much an, uh, up to the individual. Yeah. Um, yes, I think there are people who find great comfort and a release, a, a psychological release to right. be on stage, you know, performing as another character. You know, you get a chance to forget about your troubles, your mm -hmm. worries, and sort of invest it into, into something. Are there any else. actors who are introverts? Uh, for sure. Oh, yeah. You know, like they're totally different oh, people on stage than they are. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. And it's a way for them to, to access the part of them that is extroverted. They may live their life as an introvert. Sort of a Walter you know, Mitty kind of little, existence. Well, yeah, sure, I, you know, sure, yeah. sure, definitely. That's interesting oh, stuff. We have that? to run off to a break right now. Oh, great. But on the other side, let's talk about more of the work that you guys are doing here in town and the different venues where we might go to see you. Great. You're watching Waking Up With Don, and we'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back to Waking Up With Don, and I am here with some excellent actors that I think you need to meet and know and go see. And... Uh, <laughs> Sweeney Todd, what's it about? I mean, what's the storyline about? Uh, it, mm. Well, Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street is the entire name. The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. I've yeah. never seen Sweeney Todd, so <laughs> color me illiterate. And this but, is our uh, Sweeney Todd. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, thank yeah. you. Uh, well, uh, Sweeney is, is, a, is a musical written by Stephen Sondheim. Mm -hmm. um, in my opinion, it's one of the most original uh, musicals ever conceived. Uh, it's, it was on uh, Broadway in, in 76, 76. 1976, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with Angela Lansbury as oh Mrs. Lovett, the part that, that, that I'm playing, and was George Hearn? Uh, was Lynn Curry oh. uh, originated the role, but George Hearn took over uh, no, Sweeney Todd soon after that. Hey, Janet, when you p play a part like that was, that was played by a great like Angela Lansbury, do you look at her as a model, or do you reinvent that role for yourself? Well, you certainly look at how she presented it, yeah. and and there are other great actors that have done. Patti Lapone did a um, live concert back in 2012 in San Francisco, mm -hmm. um, and you look. You certainly. I mean, I would be foolish not to, because mm -hmm. you can. You, so you can, can take glean the best of all yes. that. Yes, that but, for it, you but, too, Doug? but you, you want it to be. You know, I want it to be my presentation, my representation. Right, but. You can certainly so get tips. For somebody from, like me who's never seen the play before, you, you'll oh. be that character for me. Absolutely. That I won't be thinking in. Well, I hope not. I, right. so, right. I haven't done my job well. <laughs> well, that's that's terrific. Um, uh, this is a, it's an unusual play. It's a uh, it's a play about uh, built on revenge, really. It, mm. Black uh, humor, dark, uh, dark very humor. Dark. Mm -hmm. Uh, There's murder. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, always a crowd pleaser. <laughs> There's love. There's love. Sweeney was okay. a barber that was uh, that had a beautiful wife, a very young daughter, uh, and uh, the uh, the villainous judge had his eyes set on his wife. So he had yeah. Sweeney sent away, uh, imprisoned, and this is Sweeney coming back 15 years later to exact his revenge. My. Uh, he meets a kindred spirit in Mrs. Lovett. Mm -hmm. And uh, who owns a meat pie shop? And uh, uh, not very good. <laughs> the worst pies in London. Oh. <laughs> and uh, it's. I, the... I take Sweeney under my wing, so to speak, and. Mm -hmm. um, and we create a good business. Uh, I. <laughs> so. I kill people to provide meat for her meat pies. My meat pies. Oh boy. Okay, so, <laughs> so it's, it's suffice it to say there's a little something for everybody. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Black yeah. dark humor. Yeah, yeah, it sounds that way. Now, now, how do how do how do people score tickets to this thing so they can go see it? They just call up the Martin, Martin Theater. Theater. Mm -hmm. Do we have that? 
seven six three eighty eighty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, good. Seven six three eighty eighty. And Sweeney tickets are on sale now. now. The March play opens March the twenty first and runs for two consecutive weekends. I think Thursdays are uh, for the first one hundred uh, ticket buyers. Buy one, buy get one, one get free. One well, Janet and Doug, I, I want to thank both you guys for coming on the oh, show. It's been our pleasure. I mean, it, it's been a real pleasure. Getting, and I let you off the hook. You didn't have to sing this time. <laughs> oh. But next time on, I expect a performance. Okay. And well, maybe we'll, an acting uh, lesson. Okay, well, we'll come Sounds back and we'll good. do it both. I love That'd be it. Fun. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, well, make sure to go see <laughs> Sweeney Todd and uh, get out there to the Martin Theater and enjoy the culture that we have to offer here in Bay County and Panama City. You've been watching Waking Up with Don, and we'll see you next time.